Hello, and welcome to the Adrian Ross Show, a brief basketball edition. I just wanted to touch base with you and say, I hope you're hope you're ready to see the Indiana Fever take on the Chicago Sky. They played last Sunday, and now they're playing again on Sunday. I expect it's going to be a charged atmosphere. Angel Reese just came off of a big game, and she's pumped up, no doubt. And of course, the Indiana Fever are on a winning spurt. They have won four straight at home. That was the first time since 2015 that that was done. And then four total in a row. And that's the first time also since 2015. So uh, so the team is, is riding a wave, I'm sure they feel. And uh, so I'm interested in seeing how this game goes. We know that, um, as Caitlin Clark pointed out, the media have made this a rivalry. She said it's more from the media than, than from them. As far as they're concerned, it's a basketball game. But we know, we know that there's that there's some hype uh, between these two teams. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes on Sunday. It will also be interesting on the funny side to see if uh, Coach Teresa Weatherspoon manages to give a little bit more of a handshake to Coach Christie Sides. And, you know, I did a video uh, in which I showed how she uh, greets other coaches versus how she greeted Coach Sides the last time they met. But you know what? This is, again, the third meeting of th these two teams, and the Indiana Fever are 2-0. and So I know the Sky, they want to get a win. And after losing so much lately, they got the win the last game. I, I hope the Fever comes out. I hope that they will... I hope that they will do the things that they need to do. I hope that they will share the ball. I didn't give any comments about the last game against the Atlanta Dream. They won the game. That's wonderful. Going to reserve my comments. I'll just say this. I hope they play well as a team. I didn't say anything um, after the last game against the Atlanta Dream. I do have some thoughts about that. I'll just leave it at this at this point. I hope that all the players are expected to do the same thing, okay? I noticed that that some players uh, seem to be more willing to call their own number. I uh, know Coach Sy says she wants to go through Aaliyah Boston. Not everybody seems to be doing that. There are people who are doing their thing. They're calling their own number. Some who shouldn't be. I guess that's okay. Caitlin Clark, uh, she seems intent on following orders. And uh, and sometimes holding back a little bit, not trying trying to figure out why everybody else seems to be able to just do what they want, call their own number, and she's expected to do, you know, to do the thing that Side says she wants to do, which is go through Leah Boston. I just put that out there. Anyway, one of the things I do hope that they do is box out that they will rebound and box out because I know the sky they're probably going to want to bang, and so uh, you know. You can't just get into a jump fest. You have to be able to box out. And speaking of that, I want to show you something someone said to me. Thank you to Marilyn Hall. No relation to Lexi Hall of the Fever, I'm sure. But, um, but she sent me this clip. This is the first play, the first possession right off the tip when Chicago and Indiana met Last Sunday, you want to talk about not boxing out and just jumping and scratching and clawing and gouging? Take a look at this. There's no sound. Just take a good look. Hmm. Okay, I want to go, I'm going to play this back. And I want you to see what I see. They're, they're just, the shot goes up and there are all these offensive rebounds because people are not boxing out and they are just, they, they are just gouging and kicking and scratching and all this stuff. So here it is again. Okay. Ali is trying to deny Cardoso. Angel Reese puts it up, misses. All right, Cardoso gets the rebound. She goes up, misses. She gets it again. She goes up, misses. They go all on top of each other. And Cardoso finally grabs it and puts the ball through the hole. Now, look, you see over here, 
You see Mitchell? She ain't hurt. If you back up here or move forward, Aaliyah, she looked like she might be holding her head. This is what happens when you don't box out, when you just all over the place. Now, I'm going to say something, and I'm going to show this again. I'm going to say something, but I'm going to give you a warning. I do have a sense of humor. If you're super sensitive and you don't have a sense of humor, this might be a good time to just move on to something else because I do have a sense of humor. And when, when Marilyn Hall sent this to me, it, it made me laugh. So we're going to look at this again. Okay. What I see here, and I'll back it up. I said, what's going on here with this, this non-boxing out, the jumping, the scratching, the clawing, the banging, and the people getting hurt because they're not doing it the way they're supposed to be doing it. I'm like, I'm looking at this and I just started laughing because I'm thinking this thing reminded me of like, it reminded me of a bedroom fight among sisters in the inner city. I mean, for real. And so here they go. And they're just battling and battling and battling and pushing and grabbing and throwing up. And I'm laughing because I'm looking and I'm like, but look at all the, all the girls, all the sisters, so to speak, are in here. Right. And then you see, I, I, again, if you don't have a sense of humor, but then you see the white girls and they don't want no part of this inner city be uh, bedroom fight. You know, Caitlin's over here. She kind of looked like she might want to get in there. And she's like, I don't know. She kind of get, she kind of pauses. She kind of back up. All right. Then you got Wallace over here. She's just like, Wallace is like, should I? Shouldn't I? Should I? Shouldn't I? She kind of, I don't know if I want to get involved in that. And she could looking, looking one way, looking the other way. And she's like, I'm out of here. And that's the end of that. And of course we see the result here of Mitchell getting jacked up. But I just laughed because I was like, man, this reminds me of an inner city sister bedroom brawl. And the white girls don't quite know how to handle it because they ain't seen nothing like it. And you can look at it again. She's like here, Wallace is over here. I don't know. Caitlin like, I'm not sure I want to get involved in that. She backs up. Wallace kind of hangs out here. She kind of looks, should I, should I, should I not? Caitlin's kind of hanging out over here. Wallace finally said, I'm out of here. It's it, the ball's in. And if you look over here, you'll see it was actually Smith who jacked up Mitchell by hitting her in the face. It's a dangerous game when you don't box out. That just, it just cracked me up because it's so, it's just so wild. And again, like I said, that's just the, that's just a little, my sense of humor there. Uh, hopefully you're not offended by that. But, um, but yeah, that, that's what you see there is not what you want to see. You don't want to see people just jumping and jumping and jumping and not putting their body on somebody and backing up and backing them all off. So that's how people end up injured. And you could see Mitchell, I don't know what happened, but somebody hurt her. And I'm not sure Leah Boston was okay uh, right away after that either. And then sometimes you, you hurt ankles and stuff like that. You have to box out. And, uh, and I've talked some about that. So, so hopefully when they come in, they'll be clicking offensively, they'll be clicking defensively. And, uh, and hopefully uh, the crowd gets what the crowd wants to see. And that is, is good basketball. So uh, just wanted to stop by real quick. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, like all that good stuff. All right. Game is Sunday. God bless you abundantly.